If you're looking for an air fryer, let me tell you why this Ninja air fryer might be just what you're looking for. We've had this for a year and a half, so let me break it down to you. First of all, the reason why we bought this air fryer is it has all the functions that we need. It cooks, air fries, bakes, broils, toasts. I actually have some marinated chicken, which I'm getting ready to put in the air fryer. That way you guys can see exactly how it works. But before we get started on the chicken and this becomes hot, apart from it performing very well and having all the controls that we need, this air fryer can be stored on the counter, upright like that, providing us with more counter space, which is very, very crucial for us. I love counter space. The more counter space I can get, the better. And suddenly you have all this room. And another great feature is you can open this right up and clean this area. The way you clean it is you open it up, you can take out this tray, open this area, and you can clean it all around here. So you have the top rack, it's this meshed rack, and then you have the bottom rack, which collects the grease. And then you have this rack, which you can clean. These are all the controls. You click start, and you simply choose what you want. Let's say I want a toast. I click on that. I can change the cooking time of the toast. And then I can select air fry. Can also change the temperature. And then there's also a light feature. After you're done cooking the food, it's gonna vent out as long as it's plugged in and then it's gonna say turn over. And that's when you can finally, literally turn this over and store it like that. All right, let's get back to the chicken. I'm just gonna place it on this mesh rack and below that rack is the rack that collects grease. And there we have it, it's ready to go into the air fryer. I read about acrylamide and I tried to air fry at a lower temperature. Let's take a peek. Wow, they look very nice and crispy. I like to measure the temperature before I take them out. I'll link the thermometer as well. It's a really good one. 192. Okay, they're done. And here's what we have. Look at that crisp. Uh, I, you couldn't even tell if it was air fried or actually fried in oil, but no, it was air fried and they do say it's better. And one of the most important critics does reveal that it is pretty dang good. So get yourself an air fryer.